record there we go thank you uh okay so i might as well start that again hello everyone i am james i am the founder and the ceo of propology uh, as you already know we our main aim is to try and teach the content that isn't being taught um that much at schools to try and ultimately prepare our students for the real world uh the aim of this session is just to try and allow everyone to get to know each other and so i can learn a bit about you and your projects and you can learn a bit about mine and we can all just discuss and share our ideas. Um, so we might as well get started. There we go. So introduce yourselves. I guess we'll just take this in turn. So who are you? Who wants to go first? I can go first. All right. Yeah, so my name is Aaron. I'm 16 and I'm from the UK. Nice. Who wants to go next? I'm gonna go. Um, I'm Leonie, I'm 16 too, and I'm from Germany. Nice, nice to meet you all. Um, Cadence, I believe we've already met. Might be wrong on that, but I think I, I spoke to you before on one of the previous sofa sessions. Um, do you wanna introduce yourself quickly? Yeah, I'm Cadence, I'm 14, and yeah, I'm also from the UK, and we have met, yeah. Nice, and I'm James, I'm 15, and I am also from the UK. Um, so tell us a fun fact about yourself. Who wants to go first? Um, it's hard to think off the top of my head. Uh... I guess I can say I have a sense of humour. Sense of humour, okay. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Um, Leonie, do you want to go next? Am I pronouncing that right, by the way? Just want to make it's sure. Fine, it's fine, it's fine. Right. Yeah, it's fine. Um, I think a fun fact, like people tell me that sometimes I'm like a walking meme because I express myself oh, through my face. Okay. Like, yeah. um, Cadence, what about you? Uh, well, I mean, if we're relating it to, actually, um, I don't know. I exist. Uh, I'm not yet dead, if we're counting that. I don't know. I've been in two cohorts as of today. Oh yeah, that that's a that's a fairly fun fact. Um, I mean, mm. what actually? What why why did you actually restart? I think you said in the group, but I can't remember. Uh, the family reasons. Um, oh, that, okay, fair enough. It's not going to be such a fun fact if I was to yeah. tell you that. So, yeah. Um, fun fact about me. Hmm. Um. I mean, I once like fell like forty feet and broke my leg. I guess that's a fun. It's not really fun, but it's a fact. Um. So yeah, next one you've already seen. Describe yourself in three words. Please feel free to brag as much as you want. Uh, Aaron, do you want to go first? Oh uh, yeah. Um, I'd say tall, <laughs> tall, funny, and um, smart. Nice. Uh, Leonie, do you want to go next? Okay, I guess I'm just like improvising. Um, I say I'm weird, definitely. Um, I am natural and uh, comfortable. Interesting. We are natural and comfortable. That's very, that's very good, actually. Um, cadence. Constant internal screeching. <laughs> okay. Um, and then for myself, I would probably say um, determined. 
um, ambitious and um, oh I don't know resilient that's a good one yeah uh, okay next one keep me scoring tell it now tell us about your problem your project Aaron do you want to go first Um, yeah, so the problem I'm trying to solve is lack of financial education in like terms of schools and like real life, because like sometimes, I mean, basically. Hello, I think you cut out a bit there. Hello, Hello? I think I think you cut out a bit there. Can, can you hear me now? I, I can hear you now. There's a, there's, there's a bit of noise going on, but I can hear you. Okay. So my problem is lack of financial education and basically I'm speaking about how schools don't teach about it and like the real world, including like taxes and stuff like that. Nice. Uh, so yeah, so your problem is very similar to mine, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Leonie, do you want to go next? Yeah, sure. Um, my problem is fast fashion. Um, Yes, I'm not sure like on which part I'm going to work in the next few weeks. Like I'm still indecisive. Nice. Um, how how long have you been in 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 SOF? Um, for four weeks. Yeah, I just started. Okay, yeah, interesting. Uh, that's great. So you you you're, you're already you've already got a pretty good idea of what you want to do, don't you? Which is good. Uh, Cadence, do you want to go next? Sure. I probably actually been in so for the longest there. I think uh, September. I just yeah. obviously didn't finish on time. Um. Yeah. Uh, ideology wise, I feel like my idea is quite similar to yours. Not in the way that it's possibly presented, but more in the way that it t seeks to teach people things that they are not otherwise taught. Um. Basically, it's an application that helps to with articles that help to help people break down their own conspiracy theories that they have created in their head and the logical fallacies they took to create to get them there. Wow, interesting. Um, yeah, that, that, that's actually really interesting. I, haven't, I think that's probably the first time I've ever heard an idea like that. I mean, we've got someone in our cohort who's doing something similar to like, um, like misinformation. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's kind of similar. Uh, and then, yeah, so that, that's quite interesting, actually. Uh, so you all, you all, you know, my project, obviously, uh, Propology, we, um, we are aiming to, like a lot of you, we are trying to teach students some of the content that they are not currently being taught in school that they may need for the real world. Okay, next one. So why did, why did you ultimately choose your problem? Aran, do you want to go first? Yeah, I ultimately chose it because like most of our world's basically based around technology now. So I wanted to create like a system that is on technology so that people can Yeah, so you just cut out. Yeah, you just cut out a bit there. You you said something. You said that you wanted to create a system around technology so that people can, and then you just cut out. Okay, can you hear me now? My mic's yeah. thing. Yeah, can you hear now? So I, I said I wanted to, to create a system online so that because most of the world has like technology nowadays, like it's easily accessible. So I wanted to create like a website, for instance, online so that people can access it. And in terms of like financial education, for example, investing, pe like I want, like I want to explain to people how you can do it online rather than like in person as well. So, um, yeah. Nice. Yeah. So yeah, it's quite similar to mine. I mean, um, so you say you want like a website. Is, is that like, have you got any like more ideas further than that? Like, obviously, you know, mine's going to be built into an app. Do you have any like other ideas? Um, yeah, um, so like you said, an app, I'll, I'll probably have a website and an app on the side. So I'll have main one will be like a website, but then there could be an app on the side with it. So on my website, I'm thinking of, I've got, I've got loads of ideas. I discussed them yesterday with Kelsey. 
But um, the main thing I want to do is like, what would be good is like creating like tutorials and videos on how for like different fields in fina finance, for like taxes, for example. Yeah, like interesting. To like educate people about them. And my main focus right now is when people visit my website, they'll have a beginner's quiz. So the, the quiz will judge on the f like how much knowledge they already know and will give them videos based on their knowledge, if you go know what I mean. Yeah, it seems like you've already thought a lot about this. Yeah, which so is really good. Was, yeah. Uh, so, Leonie, do you want to go next? Um, <clears throat> yeah. Um, how I thought about this. Um, about one and a half years ago, I um, went on an exchange um, to South America and there we watched like um, a movie about uh, fast fashion and I guess it touched me like so much that I um, when I went back home I started to um, like research more and more and more and at um, our school in 10th grade um, you have to write like a really big essay about like 15 pages about um, something um, you want and um, I decided to write about fast fashion and that's like how I'm, I'm I'm like really into this topic and I think it's very like um, it is much 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 more um, connected to so Mm, let me think. I'm not fluent in English, you know. Like, yeah, that's don't, don't worry I'm about like, it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Doing I mean, very it, well. Though. It's it's good. It's good to know that like you're you're relating this project to like you, and it's it's something that you've been you've cared about for a while, which is, which is actually really yeah. good. It's it's like so when when you're in the first stage. And like you were just like trying to find out what it was is that is that just something that like you thought about like instantly like the first week this is what you wanted to solve yes yes uh, that, that that's that's really good because obviously that means you've basically just got like a big two three week head start on everyone else <laughs> um so yeah uh so yeah that that's that's actually really good that you've you you actually you came into this already knowing what you wanted to um solve and that's that's obviously going to help you in the long run because it shows that it is something that you really do care about um yeah so cadence do you want to go next sorry i zoned out can you repeat the question please uh so why why did you want to solve um, um your problem it's If you've ever, like, tried to debate someone on an idea they may or may not have, or just generally, or one that you don't have on any topic, it's, especially on the basis of, and I, I don't, well, I hate in some ways to say it, uh, religious views, um, it can be a bit difficult when most of someone's ideas aren't based on, like, working sort of thought processes like the no scotsman fallacy things like that and when people are building their ideas and their whole entire belief system on these fallacies it can be very difficult to have a conversation with them that is productive or to productively together reach a viewpoint or to even say each other's viewpoints in a way that is understandable because the way they have come to those viewpoints yeah. isn't always logically, I suppose, in a way valid. And I don't really yeah, take like uh, yeah, about valid in that suggestion, but it's yeah. But, uh, what was that fallacy? What was that fallacy you mentioned earlier? The no true Scotsman fallacy. It's like, um, it. So let's say someone from a certain group did something wrong, or okay. did something that p other people from that group didn't like. And p other people in that group will say, well, they're not a real, what insert group name here? Okay. They're not yeah. a real this, they're not a real that. Well, they are a real this or a real that. Just because they do something you don't like doesn't make them any less in that group. It just means that they've done something that's bad or they've done something you don't like. And that's, of course, a negative thing, but it doesn't make them any less part of that group. 
Right. Yeah, I, I, def- I, I get that. I think that's really interesting, actually. Like I said, it's very unique. I haven't, I haven't really seen another project that's that's like that. Um. So, like, do, do you know, like, when when was it that you you decided that this is what you wanted to solve? Like, in terms of like yourself in self. Well, when when was it? Was it like straight away, or did it take a bit of time? Um. I originally, I was thinking I was the first person in my group to decide on a thing but of course this thing wasn't actually it was um i wanted to solve the issue of women being around 70 percent more likely to die in car accidents because there's obviously something going on there that's not perhaps with the way a car is built and there have been crash testing to stress this but then it's I also didn't know that. i didn't know that that's that's actually mm. really interesting yeah um but there's also the deeper issue of people aren't going to just see things the, way, the same way you see things. And it also means that I, I know I'm fallible to logical fallacies myself. I know everyone is. So what I'm working to do is to try and get rid of some of those fallibilities, I suppose, in a way. Yeah, so you were essentially just trying to promote more more intelligent and more logical discussion. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm getting yeah. that there. Yeah, so, yeah, that's, that's that's really interesting. If anyone else has any questions about anyone else's project, feel feel free to just uh, to just say. Uh, um, so why why did I want to solve my project? Well, um, originally when when I first came into Sofa, I had no idea what I was going to solve. Um, it did it did take me a bit of time. It wasn't like there was there was something uh, that just popped out on me straight away. So it did take a bit of time. Um, I mean, I had I ended up with two ideas after a while, which which essentially have, have kind of merged in a way. Where my first one was to do with like, um, it was more like to do with politics and how like divided people are. Um, and I wanted to try and you know develop some sort of platform where people could like come together and discuss like their ideas, um, without all that division in the way. And then my other idea was to do with the education system um, and like how not, not necessarily that it wasn't preparing students for the real world, but more to do with how it was like just it was really rigid and restrictive and it wasn't really you know, giving students that, that space to you know, express themselves and develop themselves as like people and discover what they wanted to do with their lives. But of course, eventually they, they've just kind of merged into one in a way obviously it's still mainly to do with the education system but we've got that political aspect as well with obviously being one of the four modules that uh, we teach on propology uh, so that's ultimately where i came to my decision with my uh, project if anyone has any questions about anyone else's um ideas then please please feel free to just say now um so james have you created a website out of this currently and we, we probably will create a website. Uh, I'm currently in the middle of developing the app. Um, I did create like, um, I, I've, done, I've done a few designs, which I'm going to show you later for the like the interface. Um, but yeah, I, I, I haven't got a website yet. I probably will make a website before like the expo. But I'm, I'm currently focusing on the app because I feel like the app's going to be like the bigger, the big that it's going to take longer. So I just yeah. want to try get, I just want to try focus on that right now. And- Will you try and make them profitable in any way? Um, well, yeah, I mean, we're probably, because it is, it is kind of like a, a module-based system where it, um, so we might have some sort of system where you can like buy a subscription and you get access to more levels and stuff like that. But I haven't, I haven't really thought about the profitability, profitability side of that. Um, so that, that's currently what I'm working on the, on the side right now with like my main focus being on my app um but yeah so it definitely will be profitable i'm not making a non-profit um so if anyone else has any questions okay um i mean yeah how are we making sorry are you you cutting out how are you building the app what are you oh um yeah i probably should have have mentioned that Uh, i'm using a software called bubble um, it essentially it allows you to build an app without coding it. It's not as like, it is just like there are, it's, it's not like, if you know how to code, then you're better off just coding it. But I'm not that good at coding. So I'm, I'm currently using uh, a software called Bubble. 
Uh, it's completely free if you want to check it out. Um, but yeah, I, I just realized there is one more um, question. I don't, I'm assuming you can all see my screen okay. I probably should have checked that. Okay. Um, so what, what is your goal with your project? Um, so what, what, what's, the, what's the main aim that you're going for? I know we've kind of already discussed this, but if we just want to briefly go around. Um, so what, what is your goal, your ultimate end goal? So Aran, do you want to start? Yeah, so mine's a bit vague, but mine's basically just to help other people. Because yeah. if I if I can help other people, then that will improve their lives, and they can share my company with other people. If you get what I mean. So if they have a positive impact from my service, they can share it with other people and spread the awareness of it. Of it. I don't. Think the money comes on the side, but the main thing is like helping other people. Yeah, you're you're very similar to me because that was the whole reason why I wanted to start. Um. I wanted to start doing surf in general. I know I didn't mention in my apology video that my goal was to have a positive impact on society through my work. So we are very similar there. Uh, Leonie, do you want to go next? Um, yeah, my ultimate goal is um, to spread awareness on the uh, on fast fashion and ex um, and especially the consequences. Um, Yes, just let people know because I think in the end it is um, the people who are purchasing um, the clothes who control um, the fast fashion industry. Yeah, that's that's great. Um, Cadence, you want to go next? Yeah, sure. Um, can you hear me, all right? Yeah, I can hear. I can hear you fine. Okay, cool. Uh, well, I suppose like everyone else in the end, what what we do, we do it to, in a way, aid others or ourselves. Um, but there's a lot to do with the way you think about things that can change, change people's lives. Like if everyone thought the way Trump does, I'm sure we'd have a lot less human rights. Or if everyone thought the way someone else does, we might have more, we might have less. And it can totally affect our entire way of living. People fall into cults because they can't think through things or they're too easily manipulated by certain lies and logical fallacies that they otherwise, had they known of before, wouldn't have fallen into. Yeah. Um, um, so yeah, I want to prevent that. Yeah, um, that sounds great. Uh, so I think, I don't know if anyone else has any questions, but if not, I think we're, we're, we're okay to move on. J James, I have one last question. So obviously you're focused right now. Yeah. So can you no, just how... you, you just cut out a little bit there? Hello. Hello. Yeah. I can yeah. hear. You. I can hear you. you. Just you just cut out a bit. Yeah. So I know you're saying you're focused more on your app right now. Yeah. But when you start building your website, do you know how you can make it rank in the search engines, or do you still need to like figure that out? Uh, no, I don't. I don't actually know much about like that. Um. I mean, if you know anything, then that would be great. Um, but no, I, I don't. I don't actually know much about that yet. Yeah, I, I can try and send some like tips in if you want me to chat after. Yeah, that sounds great. Thanks. Um, so I think I think we're ready to move on then. So where are we at right now? So. Why did you want to become a part of Propology? So obviously you, you saw, I'm assuming you saw everyone else, uh, everyone else's uh, shareholder videos and ultimately you decided to work with Propology, which obviously I'm, I'm very um, thankful for that. So I just want to know like, why ultimately did you decide that you wanted to become a part of Propology? So Aran, you can go first. Yeah, so because basically my problem is really similar to yours like lack of financial education and news about education and how it's like, I think, did you say it was outdated in a way? Yeah, I did. I did yeah. say it was. It is, so yeah. it's like, yeah. you think it needs improving on, I think like another side of education, which is kind of similar needs improving on. So I think it would like c combine really well. So that's why I picked Propology. Yeah, sounds great. Um, 
Leonie, do you want to go next? Because I'm quite interested in what you have to say here. Because like our ideas weren't aren't really that similar. But do you want to do you want to share why you decided to become a part of Propology? Um, we talked about this um, whole education thing at school for years now, and um, we all thought like, okay, we are students. We have absolutely no impact. We have no. Um, um, power to change it and when I saw your um, your small introduction I was like yo like he's really um, into like changing this like okay I'm totally in I want to hear what you have to say what you want to do and like yeah I'm I'm all in thank you yeah that's great um cadence do you want to go next mm-hmm I want to talk about topology well, in a way, because I wanted to just generally become a stakeholder in one of the uh, upcoming projects. And also because I thought, in a way, that the aim for Apology was quite similar to my own. And in such that it would, but in one might be easier to get along with you. And I already met you, so that was also a plus. Because... Um, new people are uh but but also because it was quite similar to my own idea and i thought that meant not only could i from your project make my make more of ideas of my own but, but i could also in some ways help you yeah sounds great um um yeah it sounds that sounds that sounds great obviously we did already meet i think i can't remember what it was i think it was like when i was just starting uh, we were in a breakout room together, so yeah, we, yeah. we do already like kind of know each other. Uh, so, what do you already know about Propology? Here we go. So, just just briefly, like, tell me what what what, what do you already know um, about you know the aims of Propology? You know, what the content on Propology. So, Aaron, do you want to start? So yes, it's on the and how you've kind of linked it to politics in a way. Yeah. And wait one sec. Um, Running out of time. We've what? Oh, wait, okay. This meeting has been upgraded by the host, and I agree. Oh. It's, it's running out of time. We've removed the forty-minute time limit on your group. Oh, okay. <laughs> thanks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Carry on. Okay. So, okay. So you you wait. What was the question? What do you already know? So I know that it's about like education and how you can improve it in schools and how it's linked to politics in a way. And yeah, I can't remember some of the points. So. Yeah. So <laughs> um, do, you, do you remember the, the four modules that we have on there? I remember seeing it, but I can't remember the points now. Yeah, don't worry, we'll come back to it. Yeah. Um, Leonie, do you want to go next? Um, yes. I think the main thing I remember is that you want to provide um, education to students, um, which we cannot get at school. Um, yes. And right. You wanted to, yeah. Okay. Um, so, Cadence, do you want to go next? Yeah, I suppose I like everyone else, but no mostly just the basics of your idea and that you hope to provide students with education that they don't get at school and almost disable some of the rigidity that school brings to learning in a way yeah um so yeah i, th I think everyone just knows like the base like the aims of propology which which is fine it it's, means that there's more room for discussion later on uh, so, what do you want to know about Propology? Here we go. Aran, do you want to start? Yeah, so the main thing I want to know is how you're going to... How you... Tell me it's easy to say, oh, this will happen, this will happen. But if you create plans like for the future and how... Wait, my internet... Yeah, if you create plans for the future and how, you, how your business will grow in the future, I think that's really important. Yeah, so like you did cut out a bit there. So so basically, like how, like what the next steps are, you mean? Yeah, like thinking in the long term about your business and right. How yeah. So thinking in long term, obviously, right now the focus is just getting like the app developed, and once we've got like 
that the, that app like fully developed and we've got like the base layer of the entire the entire project then it will be focusing on just um looking at the, the content like the actual lesson structure um and obviously how we can adapt the different lessons to best serve the functions of propology which is obviously to educate um in terms of um like profitability obviously i've said about subscription obviously it is an app so there will be ads you know that that, that just happens on every ad now ad, ad app nowadays you know that they have got to make money um so yeah there, there will be there will be ads um but i do um i do want to create some sort of subscription which basically allows you to get like higher levels um like high higher high different different types of lessons that might be more advanced or, or just better quality i'm also thinking of possibly doing some sort of tutor system where people can sign up as like tutors yeah, um, I'm yeah like for my website I'll, for like each specific field i'll have dealt the person will have an assigned tutor so they can yeah. ask them questions at any time rather than having like random feedback at certain times because then they'll yeah so for that I, it will be completely free free market and private for that like i i wouldn't be organizing prices for that that would be completely up to the tutors they'll be able to go on like tutor list and see all the different prices and like they could decide for themselves um yeah. for that obviously uh, we in terms of profitability we will probably take a bit of commission for that um and then i mean i was thinking of doing some sort of like store with like cosmetics and stuff like that um That's but yeah, that that'll probably only be like something on the side in terms of profitability. The main streams will probably be coming from like, as I said, the subscriptions and the tutor system. Um, we do, we are also going to try implement some sort of like forums as well as the lessons. So in terms of the content, that's, that's going to be the two main bolts. It's going to be the lessons and, and the games as well. I should probably mention there will be games like that go along with the lessons. Um, and then the forums and the chat, which is basically just open. It's going to be completely free. I won't be charging to access the chat. Oh, who's this? School of Future entered the waiting room. Hello? It might be one of... Yeah, the it will be. Your... Yeah. The teacher. Hello? Well, I think they're connected. I think they're connected. I think, yeah. Wait, they're not speaking. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think just here to listen. I mean, we can we can just carry on. So yeah, as I was saying, uh, the profitability, the, the main two streams will be coming from, like I said, the subscription and the tutoring. But we we will be having so, like I said, the two main uh, sources of content will be from the lessons um, and the the chat, which is basically just going to be open discussion. You know, people can post on their questions. Obviously, they'll be they'll be able to like sort between the different modules. So you you won't if if you're looking for something to for post about economics and you're not going to get post about mindset, uh, and it's just going to be open discussion for people to share ideas and ultimately learn from each other. So yeah, I mean, does that answer your question? Yeah, it does. And like you said about the live chat, to make it less hectic, what I was thinking of my idea as well was that you'd have ca categories at the top. Yeah. So determining yeah. on what you want to know, like at that second, you could click on that, and then there'd be live chats going on about that. So it's more organized. Yeah, I also want to make it like more personalized as well. So there'll be like an some sort of algorithm. Oh, well, yeah. hang on, I forgot to look at the chat. Uh, yes, yes, we are recording. Um, are, are you are you Shamshir or Kelsey? Can I just ask? Um. It's Shamshir. Okay, right. Yeah, I know. I know it's really early for you. I'm sorry, but this is this is the only time that we could you know, we could um, meet because obviously we all have um, like our own cohort meetings um, later on today. So yeah. So Leoni, do you want to go next? Um. Yeah. Um. The first question is: um, Is like this thing um, only for students in the UK? or like for all around the world yeah that's a really good question because obviously especially for stuff like the political one it obviously mm -hmm. the political climate is different for every single country mm -hmm. um so i mean yeah we will try and make it as adaptable as possible i mean like i said in the introduction for the political one it's just gonna be it's learning about 
different po- different political systems all around the world so it won't just be like subject to one like the western political system for example or the european political system um and then also it's, it's just we talk about all the different political ideologies which obviously is where you, there a problem arises because you know a problem an, an ideology that might be or a position that might be considered central in america for example might be like ex- considered extremely conservative in europe um so so that's where the problem arises there obviously that is something that we will have to approach um it will it will, it will be mainly geared towards uh the western world um to be honest because i mean i haven't really uh thought about how i would incorporate you know if you talk like more eastern um political climates um but, but uh, yeah there is i will admit that there is a problem there um that is something that we will have to address it's not just for the uk it will be for you know loads of different countries whether we can make it global or just probably or just aimed towards the western world um i don't know but you know that is something that we will have to um approach in the future so does that answer your question um yeah okay um i have more yeah that's that's fine okay um i was wondering like how do you um pick the topics for your um yes okay so how did i how did i pick the modules you mean yeah i, I just did a server i just um i just um what's the word i just i just made a quick server uh and i just sent it around lots of places tried to get as many different ideas and perspectives and then yeah that that's 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 ultimately where i decided it from okay cool is that it is that good mm-hmm. right okay uh, do you want to go next yeah of course uh, how are you planning on using multimedia to further your app um are you going to have an Instagram page, things like yeah. that? Yeah, I've, I've already got and an Instagram, I've you, already made how one. Are you going to have, yeah. How are you advertising it on said page? Like, are you just posting things, or are you going to post snippets of perhaps modules, things, tasters, that will tell people a little bit about how your app works or what it's about? Yeah, so I have made an Instagram and a Twitter. Um, I haven't, like, put stuff on there yet because I, I only just made it, like, a day ago, but... With with the Instagram and the Twitter, it, it's it's it's. I mean, it's not necessarily going to be like to do with the. I mean, it is to do with the app, obviously, but it's not necessarily going to be like um, mainly focused on updates and stuff like that. What I was thinking is it could be more to do with like tips and stuff like that, just like just like an added layer of content, if you know what I mean. Obviously, there will if if, if there is a new lesson, obviously I will be mentioning that, of course. Um, mm. But I was thinking like more like stuff like motivational quotes and just general tips um, for to cover the different modules. Is, yeah, because that in itself is kind of advertising because yeah. if you were to say plug it plug a link in the um, bio or say like check my bio or plug it in the description of each post, then that would obviously combined with the quotes or with the tips would encourage people to come and check you out or things like that. So yeah. Yeah, so, so the main aim is just to give, like, a with the Instagram, is just to give a really positive impression. Because, um, obviously, that, that that's going to be the main source of advertisement on social media, because that's where, you know, most um, most students are nowadays. So, so that will be the main source of advertisement. So, yeah, the, 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 the aim with the Instagram profile is really just to give a, a positive impression. Um, so, yeah, I mean, does that answer your question? Yeah. Okay, great. Um, so I think we can move on then. Okay, so what did you like about our shareholder video? Aaron, the floor is yours. So the main all of us like already have a link in a way because of the problems like because your problem like attracted us. The thing is, like, if we have any, like, tips, like, the main thing is, it's not about the video, but, like, about your... You could give the same to us. So it's more of, like, a, it's more of, like, a communication thing, because as your, as your business develops, we could give you tips on how to improve and you could give us tips. So it's more of like a communication thing. Yeah. So it was more of like the, the opportunity that the video like presented to you rather than the video itself. Is that a fair statement? 
Yeah. Right. Great. Um, Leonie, do you want to go next? Um, yeah, what I liked about it um, is compared to um, the other ones, it really stood out to me like it was um, structured. It was it was comfortable to um, follow through. It was not too fast, too slow. It was like perfect. Like I'm really bad. And explaining this. Yeah, no, don't worry, because like that, that's actually really good, because that, that was pretty much exactly the aim I was going for with it. Because I, I was the last one to make mine, I think, I, I don't know. But I, I remember I looked through everyone else's, and what mm -hmm. I, the main theme I was getting was it was mainly focused on like the production value rather than the content. So what I decided to do is I just decided to go down like a different route and focus mainly on the content, try to get as much as I could in there, even if it wasn't like that highly produced. And it wasn't like as exciting. It was just my voice there. Um, but the main aim was that it would stand out. And whether it standed out negatively or positively, ultimately, you know, the people who it stood out positively to, you know, I, they were the people I was going to attract, which is obviously what I wanted. So I'm, I'm actually really glad that you said that. Um, Cadence, do you want to go next? Yeah, just trying to know thought it gave a really clear view of your aims and a really clear view of what you hoped to do with your app and with your upcoming website after the app. Um, I quite like the personal touch of it just being hearing you speak. That was, yeah, that was yeah. quite nice. Actually. I just generally enjoyed it and I thought it gave a very good um, kind of exampling of what you were trying to do and of how you were going to do it. So. Yeah, it's great. Thanks. Um, okay, so you've told me what you liked about it. What did you not like about our shareholder video? So, Aran, do you want to go first? Yeah, so, um, <laughs> I don't want to be harsh, but... Uh, no, don't, don't worry about being harsh, like... Really, that, there wasn't really anything wrong, um... But if it was wrong, then I probably wouldn't have, like, I wouldn't have, like, you know... But it was, it was a really good video, but maybe... Wait, how, how long was the video again? Like three minutes. Yeah, like going back to like, what's it called? Long term. You could have maybe like talked about like long term of how you're trying to like grow the business. Yeah. You know I mean? Yeah, definitely. Because on that section where I was just talking about the aims, I was just like really vague. Yeah. Um, so that's the, just yeah. the only thing, basically. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Uh, Leonie, do you want to go next? Um, I think I have absolutely nothing which I would say, like, that was not so good. That was pretty bad. Like, it was perfect to me. Like, it was very professional. It was clear. Uh, uh, and, like, it was perfect for me. Yeah. It's like, if, if say, like, I, you were an editor and I gave that video to you, like, how, if you were going to edit that, how would you, how would you, like, what, what improvements would you try and make there? To rephrase the question. Mm. What I would do, maybe I would put, like, a very, um, very, like, quiet background um, music to give, like, a vibe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's, that's fair. Uh, Cadence, do you want to go next? Um, it is something we mentioned earlier. But, um, and while it does seem quite shallow, it is kind of just how people generally tend to view from first impressions, but it is production quality. Um, which, while was, shouldn't, which, while I feel like the fact that you did actually say about the business and not just production quality and didn't, you didn't focus on that was a positive, there's also this sense of people, when they first come to your bit, business, if it is not aesthetically pleasing to them or they think it's the colours are dra draining or things like that, they're just going to leave. Because people, once they've gone to a website, usually they do just go straight off. That's if they get to the website in the first place. Production quality tends to matter a lot. And without it, people can find things uninteresting. Which, of course, is it's shallow and it is shallow. And I admit that. And 
I'm sure most people would as well. But it's generally just true. Yeah. Even though I do particularly enjoy how, what the content actually suggests in the video. Yeah, I, I get that. I think I think um, obviously, like I said, I didn't want it to be the focus of making the video. But I, I guess like if yeah. I, if I just put like the background music, for example, or maybe made like the transitions a bit, you know, fancier or whatever. Um, but I it's definitely like, feel like yeah, yeah, yeah. That, the video is that... not going to be your actual app. Um, the video is not going to be how you're going to advertise yourselves to people outside of us. But it is just something to think about, of course. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that, that's great. I, re I really do want to hear your know, criticism. Um, I think that's just really important. Uh, so, how does your project relate to Propology? I mean, I guess we've kind of already answered, but I guess we can just go around briefly. Um, so, how does your project relate to, relate to Propology? Aaron, do you want to start? Yeah, and I could speak about like the end result. Like you want to be able to create an app and a website similar to mine, and that's what I want to do also. And yeah, I think it's just that education-wise, I think it's just similar. I don't know what else. Yeah, I think we have already covered a lot of this. <laughs> um, so, Leonie, do you want to go next? Um. Yes. I thought about like maybe some um like maybe we could like um put something of my project like into like yours um concerning the education thing like there could be something about like fast fashion um which people might not know and that way that um I could like spread awareness on this very, very complex conflict problem. And yes, because I think it's very, very interesting and it obviously affects every single one of us. So that is what I maybe thought about. Yeah. That's great. Um I'm quite inter I was quite interested there by your answer because obviously I mean your your project is probably the most different to Propology. Yeah. So yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Cadence, do you want to go next? Yeah, I've been over this like twice now, I think. Uh, it, it wasn't difficult for me to choose whatsoever, to be honest. Um, I kind of just saw your project. I heard what you, wanted, what you had to say about it. Your aims are quite similar to mine in that we both want to help other people learn things in ways that they perhaps are not otherwise taught um and yeah okay so yeah to? so i think i think we've already i think that's really good i think we've established where we are um right now so i think we can go on to this so my plans your thoughts so i think we've got five main points that i want to discuss here so the first one is content material lesson structure so obviously you saw from the introduction video that the main four um points of content that we want to teach on propology is economics the political and democratic systems across the world uh mentality and self-improvement so i guess this is just open discussion if anyone has anything they want to say about any of these points uh we'll start with this one just you know, let me know. I mean, we can talk. Um, hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear. You. Yeah, my mics. <laughs> so, um, I'd say this is really good because, like you said, you have different categories. So it's your like ideas very diverse. So people feel more attracted to go to your service because they know they have multiple like fields to go into. Yeah. So it, it's it's sort of like I'm getting a wider range of audience, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you're like thinking about like the actual like modules, like what 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 improvements do you think that like, I could make, or what other sort of ideas have you got? Um. 
so wait you know with the fields are you planning on making videos or just like information i mean obviously with the lessons I mean, I, have, I haven't actually planned. I, I haven't actually planned a lesson yet. It's merely just come from thoughts. Obviously, I will be making um, at least one lesson and at least one game before the expo. But yeah, there will there will definitely be videos on there. Like, um, you know, I might I might just put like say for for example, if it's about investing, like or the stock market, yeah. for example, I might put a video tutorial explaining how that actually works um like how the transaction and different brokers work for example so yeah there definitely will be videos because i think um obviously with it, be, with it being an education-based app you you want to be able to adapt to different learning styles um some people are better visually so um obviously there'll be text there as well uh so some people are like reading um and then other people are better listening uh, and like actually seeing it from a video so i guess that is something that definitely we have to take into account like how to adapt to different learning styles but definitely yeah there will, there will 100% be videos there yeah that's good and potentially you could bring in like for for example for economics you could potentially bring in like an economics expert and ask them to do a video for you for like yeah. uh, like a um, couple of videos like for tutorials so that people will be like oh okay an expert speaking I mean it's there's not really any difference that much because you could research the information and put it on the video but you could definitely bring like an expert in yeah definitely and, and last thing um wait I you know when you make videos are you planning how long are you planning on making them like how, around how many minutes I mean trust it would probably depend I mean for, maybe for like the example that I just said like if it was about how how investing works, how like a trans a transaction would work on a, on a stock market, for example, that that would probably only just be like a one to two minute video, just briefly yeah, like good. going over like how it works and what all the different your know, legal implications are behind each one. Um, so so yeah, so it would it would depend on the content, but yeah, it would I would try to keep it short, um, just yeah. just yeah. Oh yeah, um, one more thing, <laughs> so you know. Like you said, you want to be able to make like maybe a game. Yeah. Like, yeah. So do you think it would be interesting if you, it was like a scenario game where it's based around your field and people are put into scenarios where they have to choose what outcome like suits them and the app and the game sh like tells them if it's right or wrong and how they can improve on it. Because I think if they have like scenario games, then that could like give the person a bit of experience. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, I get what you mean there. So, like, I have, I have like, thought about, I haven't really thought about how the games would work, but definitely, like, something like that. Um, I mean, with economics, for example, like, I could do something similar to budgeting. Like, say, for example, you are getting paid X, Y, Z. You can buy this for X, or you could buy this for Y, or you could invest this to get Z interest, uh, you know what path would you take stuff stuff like that so yeah definitely because obviously um i mean as it is a lesson there will be questions in there so even if it's not like a game itself just questions like that you know to test people's knowledge um i mean to be honest the main function with the game was necessarily wasn't necessarily to like teach people it was mainly to add that entertainment aspect to it um while yeah. also obviously providing that um educational value yeah um, um you so, could yeah. possibly add leaderboards as well compared to other yeah, people yeah. so they're more motivated. Yeah, yeah. There will so be they're motivated to play the game. That's good. Yeah, there will be leaderboards. Yeah, so um, that's all. Awesome. Yeah, so has anyone else got any uh, questions about content or just any yeah. ideas? Um. So, uh, regardless of like reading and listening, what tends to be a good one when it comes to like adding things like quizzes is active recall. It's like scientifically one of the most. Um, it's I think it's the best kind of way for people to properly keep information because of course everyone can read something uh people will take in the information differently some people will read it some people will listen to it some people will watch videos but to retain the information active recall tends to be something that is best which could obviously be incorporated in your games with how and I know you said they're mainly for entertain entertainment but if you were to include something like factual lessons then I think those games 
honest, then it could perhaps people to retain the thoughts they've had about what you have, your work. Yeah, so that, that's sort of like getting into like the psychology um, of like education and learning and, you know, memorising, regurgitating information. Um, I mean, yeah, like I said, the, the, we'll have to like adapt to different teaching styles. But yeah, I, I mean, if we're going to envisage, envisage, envisage it and how it actually look, it would probably be, you know, that a page of like information or like maybe not information just like a video and then just like a couple questions at the bottom just like you know just just asking about the topic of the video just to make sure that you know they, they know what they're talking about um so yeah i mean that would be like yeah so in terms of like the active recall like you said that would be the main where it's implemented um does that answer your question yeah thank you okay good uh so does anyone else have any points, ideas, questions about the content, criticisms. Okay, um, I think we're ready to move on then. I thought of something else, Jim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go so, on, on. like, say if, like, coming back to the game, say if they, like, have, like, a good score, for example, would there be, like, would there be, like, rewards for them? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, I mean... I'm I'm gonna would like come on to that a bit later in the section, like about how all the like the rewards and the goals and the leaderboards work. Okay. Um but yeah, absolutely, definitely. Um and yeah, and like the aim would also be to make uh, to make like those rewards like tradable, like with cosmetics or maybe even just like be able to buy like access to more lessons. I don't know. But yeah, so there will definitely be some sort of rewards or currency system. Okay. Okay. Um designs right here we go let me send you these so i have made some interface designs let me just send you them all now um, okay apologies shareholders here we go right Okay, so right, I'm gonna send them one by one because I haven't got, I don't know, I can't remember where the folder where I've got them all is. Okay, so that's the home page. Um, where's the chat? There it is. Chat page. I've got seven so far that I've made. I've also put them in like a little Marvel prototype, which I can show you later. Then got this one. Section. Uh, learning. Social settings and one more. Um, where is it? There we go. Account settings. Okay, there we go. So those are the seven um, app interfaces I've designed so far. Uh, so yeah. So so what do you think then? I guess it's open discussion. I give you. I'll give you a chance to look at them all first. Okay, first thing, um, will you be hiding what the password is with just like, you know how they use dots and they'll just have those? Oh, yeah, because if you yeah. Just have... yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, of course. 
yeah. Um, and will there be options to change certain parts of the? Oh yeah. Um. So, I'm assuming you'll talk about the account settings there. Let me just go into that. So yes. Of course. I don't know if you can see, but like next to the password, um, you know, there's, there'll be a link there to change. I don't know if you can see that. Mhm. Yeah. Um. So yeah. I mean, I don't know why I put that in there. That that probably shouldn't be there. It would probably just be like a hyperlink. So you could click on the username, and then it would. No, no, no. That's like that it. would. Yeah, that would work. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So 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 yeah. So definitely, there will be um ways to change and hide your your password. Absolutely. Um. So, so what do you what do you actually think of the the design, like the the interface, rather than like the necessarily the user experience? What what do you think of them? them? I appreciate the color palette. To be honest, I like the usage of yellow um, and blue and white uh, and green. I think that you have a very much kind of aesthetic that you do have that is well defined. So I appreciate that. Um, the way it looks wise yeah so i mean i i didn't really think too much about the color i just picked light blue and orange because i wanted to go for a lighter color and a darker color that was just from some quick reading about ui psychology um so yeah i, I just went with uh, light blue and orange and i just stuck with that um and to be honest like looking at looking at it now i think it's actually worked out quite well um so i mean we, if we go through them like one by one I've, obviously you've got the home page now um at the top like what would you think about that right has anyone got any thoughts or ideas about you know any, any of them to be honest about any of these designs yeah yeah See, that was literally was... See, how are you going to change the code today Sorry, say that again. How are you going to change the code of the day? Oh, um, yeah. So I'll I'll have to just code that so it just automatically changes. Um, I, I, I'll have so, to find so yeah. I'll have like... to find like loads of different quotes. Um, and then I'll, I'll just be able to code it so that it can change yeah you know, every single day. Um, yeah. So, um. I mean, as you can see there for the learning one, like that, that that's not quite, it's, it's not designed quite the same, especially if you look at the bit at the top as uh, the other ones. That's mainly because I, I designed that first. Um, and then uh, since then, I've, probably, I've improved the, the actual base of the design for the pages. Um, so, yeah, I mean, if anyone's got any more thoughts, ideas, uh, criticisms, um yeah um so i like it's really organized and like easy to follow with so that that's quite important because you don't want to like complicate it and it's like wait let me just go you know where it says on your profile sections yeah um what do you mean by ranking is that like compared to other people? Yeah, so that's gonna be like with the leaderboards. Oh okay. yeah. And best modules just the one that you do best at basically. Yeah, yeah, basically. And um, obviously I probably shouldn't mention this. Like I, I am also gonna try go with some sort of, it does relate back to the quote of the day as well. Um I'm also gonna try make make it very customized. So for example with the quote of the day. Um, if someone is very interested in like economics, like the most, or if they're very interested in like politics, for example, the most, then I'll make sure that the quote of the day is related to those topics uh, for that person. Um, so yeah, I do. I do want to try really make customization and a, a big element of it. Yeah, and you know, for where it says social settings. Yeah. What's the whole point of chat? Uh, so yeah, so so that's basically so when when you talk in chat more, um, that that's going to give you points, 
um, and ultimately that's going to give you a rank. And obviously I want to make sure that there's a purpose to getting, you know, those high ranks and those high points. So I will make it tradable and there will be rewards for that. But ultimately that's just to try and encourage people to be active in the chat rooms, uh, which obviously promotes the discussion. It promotes the community aspect, which I think is going to be absolutely crucial in, you know, stuff like retention uh, and general experience. Yeah. And do you think you could link that a bit to the rankings with the game? Or do, do you want to keep it separate? Um, to be honest, I do, I, do want, I do probably want to keep those two separate. I mean, they will be the same in terms of, like, how they will be rewarded. You know, they'll, 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 I'll make sure that, you know, um, the, the the chat rank will probably have it will be, it will be, have rewards um, and tradable currency. There's just exactly the same way as the, the, the learning rank does. But I do want to keep them separate in terms of like how the actual ranks impact each other. I won't make it so that you can learn and that's going to impact your chat rank. Not at all. I want to keep those two separate. Um, so I'm promoting each one separately. Um, so, yeah. So I, does that answer all your questions? Yes. OK, great. So, I mean, I think we're ready to move on then. I don't know if anyone else has got anything else they want to say. Um, yeah. OK, go ahead. Um, on the... Second, um, you send like the learning. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Um, there are these two like boxes. So like, if you yeah. click on um yeah. the first one, then you can just like go on and continue um your your um yeah. progress or yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, so that's basically what they are. That's just like a, an overview of how you're doing in that, that lesson. And then when you click on that, that's going to take you into that module itself. So you'll be able to access all the different lessons and all the different games directly from there. Okay. So, yeah. Does that, does that answer your question? Yes. Right. Uh, so, great. You. If anyone else has anything else they want to say, I think we're ready to move on. I don't know if anyone else has any last um, thoughts, ideas. Okay. Okay, I think we're ready to move on then. So, chat or farm? We've kind of, we've kind of discussed this a little bit, but we, we can we can um, talk about this a bit more. So, um, with the chat forum system, obviously, I've already talked about how there's going to be your know, different categories. You'll be able to change that at the top. If you look at the design um, for the chat page, you'll be able to see that you know you you can look on the left, and there's a drop down for topic um so yeah so that i will make sure it's categorized and also personalized with an algorithm um as well which adapts to the user's preferences um i've already mentioned the level system um and how it's you know the, this it rewards activity pr pr to promote activity um mainly for the benefits of retention and also general user experience so what does if what thoughts ideas uh criticisms um propositions does anyone have about the chat form system once again it's just open discussion just um yeah um on the right you wrote like sorts what does that mean like what do you want to sort like um, by date or yeah. news or okay. Yeah, so that'll basically just be be able be able to sort like uh, most promoted, for example, or the newest. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, or as you see, there's a search bar as well, so you'd also be able to sort yeah. for most relevant as well. Okay. Yeah, does that answer your question? Yes. Um. And are you able to um respond? to these comments um, yeah. which the people made before? Yeah, of course. There'll be a comment system and um, stuff like that. Obviously, that that it will also um, be a factor in activity. If your post especially is getting more comments, that shows that your ID is, is promoting more activity, which is going to reward, which I'm going to make sure that rewards them. Um, and as you can see, it's got the level there as well. Um, so obviously if, if you see someone who's got like a level 36 or like a really high level, you'll be able to see that that person is like more active. Um, so yeah, 
So does that answer your question there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. Thank you. Okay. Um, yeah. So what do? What else does anyone? What ideas? Uh, questions, thoughts. Does anyone else have? Um. Yes. Like, is there um uh, a chance of like a private chat, like where um you can make a group um with people or like um one on one chat, like um with. Yeah. friends you make um on the platform yeah there, there the is a, there is there is a friend system mm -hmm. um if you go on to social settings uh you can see mm -hmm. friends right at the top so there will be a way to add friends and you can talk with those friends um like one-on-one -on -one, for example you can have just go i mean you can just talk about anything there'll be private messages um okay. and you'll you'll with, with like the sort system as well i probably should have mentioned this there'll be a way to see like all of your friends posts um mm -hmm. so yeah and i mean you'll be able to turn on notification for example if your friends post something you'll be able to see that post and that'll probably that'll, um, give you a notification if you want to turn that option on um but yes because i mean the main goal with the friend system is um again to promote retention because you know it's giving them another reason to come back because they've got friends there who are also um using that so they can interact with uh, oh, who's this? Oh, Aran. Uh, okay, admit. Did you just leave there? By accident? Yeah, I, th I think you just left there because it, it's just, yeah, it's just asking me to join back. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, So what was I saying there? Sorry. Um, about the friends, um, like that you can, um, talk to them. Yeah. Like yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So, the, so yeah. So the, the main goal with the friend system is just to promote retention and experience because it's going to give them another reason to come back. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. And it's also going to like make it more entertaining for them. It's going to make them feel more, more like at home in a way, I guess, if that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Does that yeah. answer your question? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, does anyone else have anything to say about that? Or are we ready to move on? Okay, I think we can move on then. So, leaderboard slash goals. So, like we've already said, there will be a leaderboard system, um, you know, to promote the activity, to promote the learning um so yeah so so what thoughts and ideas or questions or criticisms or propositions or anything does anyone want to say about that topic the floor is yours um yeah so for the leaderboards oh and you can see like their name there will you be able to click on their profile and like see like their achievements and stuff yeah absolutely definitely um yeah um but when you obviously you haven't created a design for the leaderboards yet but yeah there, there will be where if you, you look on the leaderboards you can just click their name go straight into their profile um you know so if you want to you know talk to the person at the top of the leaderboard um Obviously, especially with the chat leaderboards, you'll be able to see who's the most active and then you can talk to them because obviously that you'll be able to see how that they are active. Um, so, yeah, that's oh, whoops, didn't mean that. Uh, so, yeah, uh, definitely. Um, does that answer your question? Yep. OK. Uh, what does anyone else want to say about that then? Leaderboards and the goal system. I mean, I haven't really talked about the goals too much yet. Um, obviously, that that's just going to be a system that's personal between the user and the app, where they can um, just sort out different goals for them in terms of their main, mainly to do with their learning activity. I'm not sure how I'm going to implement it with the chat activity, um, just to you know give them a something 
you know, the, something like a milestone, like a landmark, so they know if, they, if they've achieved that goal for the day, that's good, and there will be a reward system uh, for that. Once again, that's just to promote activity and retention. Um, so that, that's just a brief explanation for what that's going to be. Uh, if anyone has any uh, thoughts, ideas, questions, propositions, criticisms about leaderboards or goals, uh, you can just say now. But if not, then, I mean, we're okay to move on. Um, I have one. Um, yeah. Like, concerning um, the boards, is this going to be, like, um, worldwide or, um, like, in your country, your region or, yeah? Uh, yeah, good question. Um, I mean, they'll probably just be able to change it. Like, you'll probably be able to set for your country and then, you know, you'll be able mm -hmm. to change it for the world as well. Um, yeah, so I want to make it as flexible as possible. Uh, does that answer your question? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so I guess, I mean, unless anyone has anything else they want to say about that, I think you can already see what's next. I think we're okay to move on. Okay, right, so as you can already see, last point I want to ask about is timeline. So what can we do between now and the expo, which is 21st, I think. So yeah, what, what do you, if we go back to short term, because we've, we've talked a lot about more long term ideas today. Um, if we go back to the more short term, what, what, what can we do between now and the expo? If anyone has any thoughts or ideas, then just open discussion. Yeah, I have one. Um, you could possibly say how you can promote your services to other people so that they become your clients. So to... Yeah, so like talk about advertising and the, and the marketing side. Yeah, and like attract people to your like app, for example. And like yeah. make them like use it and stuff. Obviously not forcefully, but like if they're like driven to it, then that's good. Then that's a positive outcome. Right. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I mean, I don't know if you've ever been to Expos before. But obviously, it's split into two sections where you've got the pitch at the start, and then you've got like the the deeper explanation and questioning in the breakout room. Um. So which is, I mean, it's kind of similar to what we've been doing today, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, so the marketing side is definitely something that I will want to cover. Uh, thanks for raising that. Uh, obviously, I've, I've already kind of started with making the Instagram um, page, which is, like I've already said, that's going to be the main source of advertising uh, due to the fact that, you know, the age range we're going for spend a lot of their time on social media. Um, so yeah, so any if anyone else has any other uh, thoughts or ideas about that, Just generally, like, any any ideas of what we could do between, or questions about what we, we are already thinking about doing between now and uh, the expo? You could maybe have, like, live session games as well, like, scheduled for every day for maybe, like, a certain time. So that compared to when you're doing it offline games, but the difference with live games is that maybe if you win, you get triple the amount of rewards than if you do it offline, if you go on me. Oh, so that, that's a good idea. So that's, that, yeah, so that's more to do with, like, the actual, like, app itself. So, with, like, yeah, yeah. so definitely, like, um, I, I was already trying to think about how I could do some sort of, like, like live session to promote it. Uh, you know, similar to how School of Future do theirs, like, you, you get, the, you book a free live class uh, just to generally, sh like, promote the, the program. Um, I was thinking of maybe implement, implement some sort of system like that um, but yeah, I was also thinking of doing something like I would do like a live session that that for, like kind of similar to what you said that like it, it focuses on like one of the modules. Like I might do a live session on um, uh, I don't know how elections work, for example, um, or a live session on how to be more productive in in your like daily life, um, stuff like that. Uh, which I don't know if that would be inside of the app or outside. It would probably be both. Like, it would probably be, like, outside of the app, but obviously it would be advertised inside of the app. 
Um, but I mean, I do definitely like your idea there. What you said about like the the live games. I hadn't actually thought about that before, where you could like win prizes. Yeah. That actually sounds that actually sounds really good. And it you would could also, potentially, yeah, yeah, you could potentially have like one on one sessions with one of your clients, like once a month or something. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean that would be good. I mean, that's I've sort of got that with like the tutor system. I mean, when it's still, I mean, it's probably one of. I mean, if we're thinking ambitious wise, then yeah, that would obviously be something that's provided by the tutors, um, which would obviously be more like of a private system. Um, but I mean, while it's small, definitely, because um, you know you do want to promote that discussion and that engagement and that relationship with your clients, which is kind of another aspect, uh, an opportunity that's provided by what you said about like the live games, because it's going to give people an opportunity to not only get to know me, because I'll be the ones hosting it, but also to get to know like other, like the other users that are there. Um, because you'd be able to like, not it's, it'll be, it's, it's, it's obviously better than just seeing words on a screen. You're actually listening to them and you're hearing them and you might like be seeing their face which is obviously going to promote that that sort of style of community. Uh, so I actually do really like that idea that you mentioned. Um, yeah. So thank you for that. No problem. Yeah, you could just generally have like, because uh, you do, you said you would have like offline games, but like having online ones as well, where users can interact with each other. Yeah. So, so it gets yeah. to build a community so people are less likely to want to leave because they have friends there and things like that. Yeah. Definitely. So, um, yeah, so I, I definitely do think that's a really good idea. I'm, I'm really happy that you raised that. Um, if has anyone else got any other ideas about that then? About or anything to do with uh, any of these points now, I guess, because you can see them all before we move on. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Like concerning um, the timeline thing, um maybe there should be something like a trailer um to the whole um like app and what you want to do like like an intro um for promoting um do you get yeah i know what you mean yeah okay yeah i know what you mean like like a promo video like so, so when, yeah, when so. yeah, so like when when you maybe like when you first sign up to the app, I would have it on the Instagram, um, mm-hmm. like something that basically just shows you like basically like, kind of like a tour of the app, if you know what I mean. But it would be more focused on production rather than content. Um, yeah. So yeah, I'm I'm actually really happy you raised that. That would be a really good idea. I haven't actually thought about something like that yet. Uh, yeah. So has anyone else got anything else they want to say about any of these? before we move on. Okay. Um, so, there we go. So, I mean, we've covered a lot of stuff there. I'm really happy with all of that. I mean, basically, this is just, yeah, say anything you want now. You, you, it's not necessarily about my project. It can be about any of your projects as well. Just open discussion now. Um, just asked about anything to be honest. Sorry, um, I have, yeah, I have to go. Sorry, oh, don't worry about that. That's fine. I mean, we were wow, well, it's 11 30 now. I didn't realize it would be for like an hour and a half to be honest. Time's gone quick, yeah. <laughs> no, this has actually been a really good session. I'm, I'm really thankful that you've all engaged, um, for giving me your thoughts and ideas. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with how this has gone. Uh, I don't know if anyone has anything else they want to say. I mean, we've, we've pretty much covered everything. If anyone has anything else they want to say, then the floor is yours. Bye-bye, guys. Thank Bye. you. Thank you for having thank me. You, thank you, thank <laughs> you. I don't have much to say, to be honest. Yours is quite similar to mine. But I think you touched on it, like, you know when, like, I want to create a game that gives you in-game rewards. Then after you could like cash it out for real money, like for actual like real money, if that makes sense. What? So like and then? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, interesting. So like the rewards you can like transfer into real money in a way. Yeah, I would have to and... make sure that's profitable though. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. what else was I gonna say? Um... 
oh yeah like i was thinking of like wait yeah so you just cut out a bit there yeah so i i was thinking that like after people watching my videos if like there's a product that i recommend at the end for example if i'm doing a video about investing and there's an investing book i could have a link for that book on amazon under the video and if people click on that link and buy the product then i would get like a 50% commission so that yeah so that the, yes like advertising yeah so like you yeah, so you, you being an ad like, source for others yeah i get yeah, that yeah that's basically like affiliate marketing in a way because you click on the link you buy the product that they recommended and then that company like amazon gives you like a commission so that could make it a profitable as well along with like subscriptions of the app i mean yeah like i mean like i said before um with cuz cuz mine's an app uh, obviously advertising will be a very large source of income with it um cuz you know, that's just how it how it has to work nowadays with uh, the app industry um i mean definitely with all like relevant ads so it's not just like annoying pop-ups that come up um uh so so yeah definitely i, I think that that's definitely a really good idea yeah um, um... Yeah, and what another thing, if I create a website and I'd make sure I'd have my like my app being promoted on the website, and I'd make sure that I'd have some of the reviews of the apps on the website, so that before people go in the app, they'll already have a positive impression. Before, yeah. On like from the website. Yeah, definitely. Um, again, I, I guess um, that's just sort of like expanding the profile, isn't it? And also with with um like with mine because mine's got like such a wide range of of topics the, there's a much bigger market out there for me to advertise and also to um be an advertisement source as well um so yeah so it's just like expanding the value of what what you can what you what the value that your product has for others and what value you can get out of other people's products in terms of advertisement so yeah definitely and of last thing i've also heard that if you put more images onto your website more people are more likely to click on there and it's more likely to like rank so if so i think the more the more colorful the website can be the that the best it will be for you and me because obviously if you go onto a website you don't just want to see all text you want at least something to like pop up don't you like at least like one or a couple of images so i think that attracts the visitors even more yeah, um, I, ju I yeah, I just realised something. Um, I forgot to share this Marvel prototype that I've got. I mean, there is there isn't much depth to it. It's just you know you know the ones that I um uh the the, the interfaces I sent to you. I linked them together on Marvel. Yeah, you um, can send it in the chat if you want. To. Yeah, I'm doing that now. Okay. Yeah, there you go. I mean, right now the only ones that are functioning is the like the 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 list at the bottom with home learning chat and profile. I haven't got the store one working yet. Uh, and then from the profile, you can go into the learning social and account settings and back. So so that's all I've got functioning so far. If you want to just have a look at that and like let me know what you think. Yeah. And James, could you put the link to the website you used to build your apps? What's it called? Bubble. Yes, Bubble. Well, I will do yeah, it'd that. be great if you could put it in the chat. I will do that. Uh, Bubble.io. There you go. Have you, have you had a look at the, um, the Marvel? Uh, prototype. Um, it only shows the first page for me. Yeah, if if you click if you click on like the at the bottom, it can oh, it takes open it. an app. Wait, it says open. Let me try this. Oh, sure. I, I think it's best if I should download the app then. Wait. So, what is this app like? Does it? Well, what do you do on this app? Uh, well, I, I don't know why it's asking you to download the app. Like for me, when when I just click on the link, it, it'll take you to the home page first, um, and then if like you click along the bottom, like if you click 
I don't know what they're called, like on the, 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 the sections at the bottom, if you just click on them, it will take you to across the different pages. One second. Um... Oh, yeah, it works now. Is it working? Yeah. Good, good. Uh, what do you think, then? Yeah, it's good. It flows. It's like... I mean, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, there isn't much depth to it, yeah. Um, yeah, but it's good that it flows. Yeah, so... I mean, yeah, I did I, I did forget to show you that. I should have showed you that when we were talking about the designs. But we ended up in a completely... It was a really good discussion. Um... But yeah, so I'm glad I did get to show you that. I mean, that's all I've got. That's all I've got to cover, to be honest, in this um, session. I'm really happy with everything we've talked about. Definitely some of the ideas that you, that's been mentioned about, like the, the live games, for example. Um, and also with like the advertisement, reaching out to other companies as well to you know, trade um, publicity and exposure. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, uh, I, I want to thank you as well for your engagement. Uh, you've made this a lot easier um, with all with all the different ideas and questions. Uh, so, yeah, so, I mean, th thank you all for coming. Um, and, and I guess I'll, I'll good luck with your own projects and I guess we'll, we'll see each other again soon. Yeah, thank you. Good luck. Thank you. you. Bye.